NRL.com is here with rugby league legend Cliff Watson. Cliff, it's been many years since that um, 73 grand final against Manly, but tell us what your memories are of that occasion. Uh, well, the memories uh, always come flooding back every time you sort of get together with the opposition. And with leading up to the grand final, we've met a few times, Peter Peters and I and Maxie, and he brings back good memories. Unfortunately, not, not that good because we lost. But memories of the game, every sort of violent, it was vicious and whatever. But it, it was acceptable in our day, that's the way we played the game. You know, and it's a um, very hard game to play in. Uh, I got a couple of cr crack ribs, but you know, that didn't matter. It's that was part and parcel of the game. And Lurch, he found them straight away. I, I'm sure he knew about them. So he gave me a, a good tattle on the chest and so it's loosened them up a bit, made them rattle. But the adrenaline gets into the game and you just you just switch off. People say, well, you're hurt. They say, you don't get hurt. Your adrenaline is that high. You, you can't really feel any pain, you know. Your, your pain sort of uh, barrier goes that high in, in a grand final, in a physical game. Then it's beyond, you can't really say well, why, you know. Sometimes I watch the game and I thought, Jesus Christ, I used to bounce off the floor like that, yeah. But you didn't feel it. You had a lot of experience, 11 years in England playing um, union and league before you came to Australia. I mean, did that give you some help going into those massive games like that grand final? Yes, I was fortunate really because when I first signed on for St Helens, uh, I played my 11th first grade game at Wembley with 95,000 people, you know, thrust into a you know, big massive arena. And uh, it was, I didn't sort of, it, it, I wasn't overwhelmed because I didn't know really uh, how great it was to be there. You know, it's everybody's uh, footballer's uh, dream to play at Wembley. And I was thrust into after 11 games, you know. And, and fortunately, I played again in 60, 66, and that's when I felt it because I knew what it was all about, you know. I was a sort of bit bewildered being a 20 year old kid, you know, running around at Wembley Stadium. And to come out here and with Tommy, played with Tommy in 66 at Wembley, and uh, with the players around us, like Graham and Johnny Maguire, we had a great understanding, you know, and I was sort of a uh, so-called leader of the pack, but they were very good. Whatever they said, they, they did or asked of them. There was, they didn't, wouldn't take a backward step. And we just played together as a, a well-balanced pack. And I think this is what helped us to sustain uh, the uh, tattling and the, up the middle as hard as we did, you know, for Manly. Because we were well balanced, you know, we were good, helped each other. Well, there's a massive rivalry between the Sharks and Manly and, and the semi-final game this weekend. Will you be watching that? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, have, I'll have to watch that from the armchair. I won't be going out there. I'm not, uh, I'd rather stay at home than I can abuse everybody. You know, <laughs> the wife can go in the other room. <laughs> So what are your predictions for that game and, and how do you think the Cronulla pack is faring at this point in the season? I think the Cronulla pack, if they can hold the Manly, they'll go a long way. But uh, all right, they're missing out with Carney, who is, a, who is the playmaker. He can create gaps and he can put, pinpoint the ball on kicks. But if they can hold in the pack, I think they'll give him a bit of a shake in. But I don't like to say, but I, I think Manly could be a little bit too strong for him. With the six teams that are in, still in the competition in the final series, what are your predictions for later on towards the preliminary finals and, and even the grand final? Well, I still think Melbourne Storm can do it because they can turn defence into attack within a split second. You know, and they make a break. And by the time they run to the sticks for the try, there's about three of the Melbourne Storm players around the man with the ball. There's not many teams can do that because. They, They've got so many class in attack there and the defence, you can't not the defence either. But uh, they're, a, they're a brilliant side when they're firing, like everybody else is of course. But they're more consistent. They've had the, the downs, thank goodness for that, you know. So whoever, as I said out there before, the rest of them, whoever gets in the run final, let's hope the referee is allowed to referee the game properly and let the spectators enjoy the game. Well, for your sake, I hope it's a Sharks uh, semi-final win. I hope so. Thank you.